In this video, we're going to cover some recommended general settings for documents and the work screen, as well as print settings to help customize your estimates, repair orders, and invoices. To do this, click Setup, then User Options, then the General Link. The first three options allow you to determine how Manage Online responds when you create various documents. When you choose any of these options, you're setting it so when you save or update an estimate, repair order, or invoice, Manage Online will clear the document from your screen and display a blank document which you can use for your next customer. Here, you can make assigning a technician required. Manage will prompt you to add a technician if you haven't done so when you're cashiering an invoice. Enable RO Authorization will prompt you to enter customer authorization information when you create or update an RO. Choose what you want to title the initial document you create. To set the starting number for your various documents, use the Document Start Number fields. If you have converted a database from another shop management system, it is recommended that you adjust these to avoid repeating document numbers. If you are starting with a fresh database, you can leave the default numbers here or change them to your liking. Default labor rate should be your standard shop labor rate. Select it from the drop-down menu. Click Update to save any changes. Now that we have all of this information entered, let's set up what the documents will look like when they are printed. Click the printing link. These first two items allow you to choose between two document layouts. Standard layout will separate the information categories to the left of their fields. Full width will consolidate the information categories into their respective fields. This area allows you to customize some of the items that will print on estimates, repair orders, and invoices. Select this checkbox to add a disclaimer to estimates only, explaining to customers they have a right to a written estimate. If you select this box, all discounts applied to a ticket will be shown on the printed document. Show labor quantity and rate. This is a required field in some states. If you checkmark this box, all labor line items will include the number of hours billed and at what rate they were billed. Otherwise, only the total labor dollars will show on the line item. Selecting this checkbox will add a reminder to estimates, repair orders, and invoices to save the customer's replacement parts. And this one adds a field to estimates to record the customer's intended method of payment. This selection adds a field to estimates and repair orders where you can record the proposed completion date. Finally, you can choose to add a barcode to the bottom of your documents. These selections allow you to choose on which documents you want the customer authorization details to print. This field allows you to edit the default heading for the symptoms and DTCs area on a customer's work document. This is what will print on the document. This area allows you to create a disclaimer which will be added to your work documents to explain shop supply and hazmat charges to your customers. These items are all required fields for shops in the state of Florida. To view a video of all the setup items in All Data Manage Online that are required to meet Florida regulations, click the link above. Use this area to upload your shop picture or logo. Be sure to verify the size of your image before you upload it. To begin, click Browse. This will open the Pictures folder in Windows. Navigate to your picture and click Open. Then, click Image Upload. If you're satisfied with the picture, click Use Image in Documents. Here, you can choose when you want the Print Preview window to open automatically. Again, to save any changes, click Update. Thanks for watching. For more information on this or any of All Data's products, visit our support site at alldatasupport.com or call one of the numbers on your screen.